Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant Collins from cyberacademy.org. In today's video lesson, I'm going to quickly outline and show you uh, my project-based approach on learning cybersecurity and why it is important. Let's just go ahead and get started with why projects are important in cybersecurity and more specifically in your learning process. Projects are really important for a few reasons, and I always stress projects uh, when it comes to learning in cybersecurity because it enforces the application pieces of your learning process. Learning theoretical, conceptual, and abstract knowledge is definitely one of the first best steps you can do to get yourself started in cybersecurity, but learning how to actually apply what you're learning from the classroom or from a video course or a book into real-world projects or real-world uh, use cases is what's going to help you uh, actually learn the, con uh, learn the concepts and then be able to apply what you're doing. The projects really reinforce the ability to apply something and really enhance your learning process and get a more holistic approach with your learning. Now, when it comes to developing projects, if you guys follow me on my other channel, uh, throughout the past, you've seen me do a whole bunch of different projects in cybersecurity, ranging from anything from like a technical, like a hands-on Linux type project, to more of a programming oriented type project. And one of the things that I always try doing in the process is developing an overall plan to get started. And then once I have that plan, I proceed forward with that plan, kind of following that baseline structure. So let me go ahead and show you a worksheet that you can download to get yourself started with a project and to start jotting down your ideas. This worksheet is meant to offer a springboard or launch pad into your learning process. So let's go ahead and transition over there. All right, guys. So here in front of me, I have two resources for you. The first one is a complete list of project ideas that you can use to go ahead and either find a project idea or follow directly on one of these projects. Each one of these project ideas has some starting resources. So for instance, if we click Linux and we want to create a monitoring system, for instance, you will see that we have an overview of this specific project idea, as well as some uh, project recommendations, some maybe some previous knowledge, uh, as well as some starting resources and a recommended beginner level. So this is in each of the sections um, that are outlined. Uh, there's project ideas for everything uh, that includes anything technical. So once you have your project idea whether it's from this Cyber Academy archive of project ideas or anything, usually what I like to do is create a baseline organizational worksheet which has some starting resources as well as a project title, project description, and a little bit of a category. Usually I fill out a project plan worksheet like this where I go over just a little bit of the basis of what this project is. So usually I like to give it a title and a description as well as a category. Um, and usually what I like to do is have a certain amount of hours or days a week that I allocate towards uh, building this project or working on it. And then I have some starting resources that I can always add as well as a date started and date completed. So usually what I like to do is once I fill out one of these, I print it off, put it on a binder, and um, I can follow along with those resources. And I can always reference that worksheet back on the binder, just looking back as a means of just saying, hey, I, I completed that project. So this is freely downloadable as well as all the project ideas. Um, you can find this all on the Cyber Academy uh, website and uh, yeah so hopefully this will be a good way to offer a launch pad or a springboard into your learning process. So this is what I do when it comes to developing a small-scale project plan for my projects. It's always important to have a sense of clarity and organization moving forward and as I've said being able to apply your knowledge is really going to help you uh, have a more holistic approach towards your overall learning journey in cybersecurity. So that is it for today's lesson. Go please download that worksheet and uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck on your future project here.